In the previous video, we covered the purpose of ePortfolios, how to log into Mahara, and the recommended settings. In this video, we will cover how to update your profile. Once you have logged into Mahara, the first thing that you will most likely see is your dashboard, which is just other word for your homepage in Mahara. In fact, as long as you are inside of Mahara, whenever you click on the logo located on the top left corner, you will come back to this page. It is good to remember the term dashboard though, because the name will show up later. Notice that the dashboard is structured to cover the three main functions of Mahara. Create and collect, organize, and share a network. Underneath each section, you will see the most popular used areas. Let us take a look at update your profile. When you click on update your profile, you will be taken to the first form. Fill in the box for a display name. This is used to replace the student ID number that we hit by our change to the settings. When we check the box of hide real name, write in a professional first and last name that you want your prospective employers to see and save profile changes. Click on the contact information tab within the profile area. We recommend to fill this information. Be careful to capitalize everything important, such as names, cities, and states. Paying attention to details here will tell your prospective employers that you will pay attention to details at the job as well. When entering the postal address, make sure to include city, state, and zip code. It's okay to use abbreviations here remember to click save at the bottom of the page. Placing information here only makes it available for later use. Placing it here does not mean that it will be used. The only people who will see this information are those who are given permission to see it on a page that you will create later on. If you would like to include the official LATTC website or the website address, for your major department homepage, you can add those to the appropriate box. If you would like to add a different email address than the one in Moodle, you can do that. If you do, you will need to verify the email address before you can return and use it. In the messaging tab, you will find places to include instant message, Skype, and Jabber identifications. If you are applying for jobs out of the local area, you may want to include your Skype username. In the general tab, you can include your occupation and industry, if you want.